Welcome back everyone to It's Not Easy Being Green Screen. Here's one of my favourite ever budget games, Ninja Scooter Simulator. I may have mentioned this game a couple of times before on this channel, possibly once or twice, because this music is fantastic. Something very, it's very, something very simple and in nature about this game, but something highly addictive as well, even though it's technically only got 16 levels, um, and a straight line, you know, scrolling to one side assault course style game with this absolutely amazing music this music is incredible stuff for you know an old uh, budget game that uh, is really silly really i mean what kind of simulator can you be a ninja scooter one someone says yes because lots of ninja scooter people are around and we can make a simulator game about that where you're just driving down an empty street with lots of holes and ramps and cobbles and stuff in it there's a little spin for you I do like to get the, you can actually oh, straight into the bleeding barrier. You can actually attribute a lot of spins on it, so it's actually really good for bonuses. Anyway, we're not talking about the game itself, we're talking about the colours and the way it looks and the way it plays in glorious colour. And it is a very lovely, colourful game. And lots of, uh, oh, I think the full colour palette being used, all 16, 15 colours there. Loads of stuff going on, really lovely. Um, nice background, quite smooth scrolling, there is a little bit of tearing. Uh, with, the, with, the, with the with the way it scrolls, a little bit of tearing. You can see that tearing there, especially on the clock on the watch that's uh, on the floor. But taking that away, it's uh, very well drawn, very well defined. Despite the main sprite is really nice and really nicely animated as well when he spins. It's all very clear, garish as hell. I love it. It's uh, I think this visuals are very good. It's a very small play area, of course. The small play area is of course to uh, you know make the make the scrolling good. I guess, and it doesn't affect the music either, as you probably noticed. A lot, of, a lot of games that scroll and move will slow the music down. This doesn't do that on this. But hey, let's pause the game and get rid of all its glorious colour and see what happens and see if it's playable in green. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Right. This is quite devastating. I mean, it's still playable, but my god, it's really devastating. So all that glorious colour has been completely stripped away now. Oh, that, that lovely sort of cylinder effect that you had on the outside. Oh, I've got another spin in there. Double spin here! Yes! Because I've got the turbo. Double spin! Boom! Beautiful. Um, oh, I'm actually navigating this quite well because I actually know level 3 really well. So um, that aside... Oh, nearly. Um, yeah, the, so the border... Of the of the game screen is now just a, effectively just a green line. So the lovely tube effect has, has disappeared. Um, the title bar looks pretty good still. So does the HUD at the top, the end, and the time bar at the bottom, progression bar. I think the problems are coming in the game screen itself, in the game area. Now the the background is really dark there, so anything that's really like quite a shade, shade of dark is sort of like getting lost in the background. And also the uh, the checkered floor, um, the dark patches on the checkered floor are almost almost exactly the same as the holes I've just noticed. So any holes? Any, oh, I can see the boost, uh, the boost. All oh, the watches lost as well within the dark patches. Yeah, this is what's going to happen because of the checkered floor. The dark patches, which would were normally blue, have now changed to a, either either they're either black or very very dark green. And if they have, if they merged in with some of the obstacles there was a row of uh, holes pot holes there which I, you can only just barely make out with a slight 3d sort of uh, drawing on them so that's tricky uh, and of course this game has like, I think at four or five different backgrounds as well so that's one that's the park background I think the next one's the garage background is it the garages uh, yes the garages and um, so that's not too bad there you go there's a hole there barely see it. Some of the shading has gone a bit weird on some of the uh, the drawings of the cars at the back. Oh, I couldn't see the ninja. Oh, there was a ninja there, and he got completely lost within the cobbles. C couldn't make him out at all. Yeah, I'd find this very, especially in the later levels when there's much. More, I don't even know what I hit there. Oh, there was a there was a hole. There was two holes there, and I couldn't even see them. Yeah, that would get annoying because because if you're going at a rate of knots, it's difficult to pick out. Oh, good jump the skulls could just see the skulls there the ninja got lost because he's sort of like a grey colour normally and he got lost in the holes oh I'm on top of two holes now yeah bang bang no it's all going to pieces it's all going terrible too many shades are clashing with each other the light colours are quite nice the sprite is still well defined and quite clear and unfortunately the obstacles and some of the enemies are actually blurring in with the checkers 
that's what's causing the main problem here is the checks on the floor I mean I don't normally have a problem with the checks but the checks on the floor anyway that's uh, Ninja Scooter Simulator in green thanks for watching Neverbug out